Welcome, welcome, welcome. NBA news again. I I don't know what to say. This NBA offseason has been ups and downs. There's been slow periods. There's been hype periods. Um, before I get into the video, 80 or so percent of you guys, I think even 90% of you guys are not subscribed to my channel. Just subscribe. Just press the button for me. I would really, really appreciate it. Press the subscribe button, please. Now that we got that out the way, Donovan Mitchell has been traded to the Cleveland Cavaliers for Colin Sexton, uh, Lori Markkinen, I forgot the young man's name, um, the 14th overall pick for the Cavs in this draft, and three future unprotected first round picks, and I believe two pick swaps. That is a haul. That is a haul. But you get Donovan Mitchell. And a lot of people, I was on, I'm on different forums, and I kind of feel like Twitter as a forum is a little bit more educated than Facebook as a as a forum, personally. Um on Facebook, it was more so I don't see the, the, the big deal. I don't think that this moves the needle for them in the Eastern Conference. And then on Twitter, it's a completely different story. People are like, oh man, Cleveland is ready to go. They're, you know what I'm saying? Like they're ready to make that playoff push now. They they've Wrote, risen in amongst themselves in the Eastern Conference uh, tiers of teams. And I and I agree with Twitter because if you look at last season, uh, before they got decimated by injuries, they were like 7-4, and four, then Colin Sexton went down. Then they continued to win with Ricky Rubio and Darius Garland and Evan Mobley and Laurie Markkinen and then Jared Allen. They really didn't start suffering until Jared Allen and Evan Mobley missed time. The four and the five of the Cleveland's uh, basketball team is the most essential positions on the floor based on just their skill sets. What Evan Mobley brings to the table at that four position and what Jared Allen brings to the table at that five position, it gives them 48 minutes of rim protection. And both Jared Allen and Evan Mobley are no slouches on the perimeter. Mobley is obviously a better lateral mover and he can guard the perimeter better than Jared Allen. But Jared Allen can get out there and defend a little bit too. And we know that Jared Allen as of right now is the better rim protector than Evan Mobley. And he, he's been since he's been in Brooklyn. So I think that Cleveland absolutely won this trade. They did the right thing because they were a playoff team last year. So what are those first round picks going to get you? What are those first round picks in the uh, in, in next year's draft and in, in the year after that? In the year after, like, what are those picks really going to net you? They're not like you're going to be in a playoff. So you're going to be drafting 18th. Anywhere between 18th and 27th. Like, you're not going to be in a position to truly draft a franchise-changing player at that at that position. So you might as well get rid of those picks, trade for Donovan Mitchell, and try to make a run. Boston is there. Milwaukee is there. Philly is there. Miami is there. Atlanta is there. Brooklyn is there. All these teams have gotten better. And Cleveland has now put themselves in that conversation to at least make things interesting. I personally feel like they could be a top four seed in the Eastern Conference if they stay healthy. They have to stay healthy. They're one of those teams, and I think that Donovan Mitchell definitely changes this a little bit, but they're, they're one of those teams where they need all of their pieces to be kind of like healthy and not miss a month two months of the season for them to be at their best certain teams they can miss a guy for a month or two and and keep going like nothing happened because they just have like a, a, a transcendent type of uh floor raising player and certain teams they need everybody to pitch in but when everybody's pitching in they're one of the best teams in the nba and that's how kind of how i felt last year with the chicago bulls even though to a lesser degree, not like Cleveland not being an elite team. But I just feel like the reason why Chicago failed is because they needed Caruso. They needed Lonzo Ball. They needed Patrick Williams. And they didn't have these guys. And DeRozan and Zach Levine, although DeRozan was doing his share of carrying, he's not that type of a player to do that for a long stretch of time. Zach Levine has never been that type of player. And Vucevic has never been that type of player neither. So I like this move. I'm going to give this move an A. I really like this move for the Cleveland Cavaliers. I feel like this puts them into the upper echelon of the Eastern Conference and maybe even the NBA. I don't care about, oh, well, how Darius Garland and Donovan Mitchell are going to pair. Smart players know how to play. They're both players that know how to shoot. They're both players that know how to pass. They're both players that can create their own shot off the dribble, that can shoot off the catch, and that can break down the defense and, and, and just get to the free throw line and make free throws at an efficient level. 
They're going to help them. You're going to have 48 minutes of Darius Garland and Donovan Mitchell. You're going to have 48 minutes of Evan Mobley and Jared Allen. And they still have Karis LeVert coming off the bench. And they still have Kevin Love coming off the bench. Good luck with Cleveland. Good luck with Cleveland. I, I know people don't see it now. People want to see it. I see it. Just like I saw, I feel like Atlanta with DeJounte Murray and Trey Young are going to be a force to be reckoned with. For some reason, people just don't think that about two guys that need the ball in the backcourt can be successful together. I don't know how many times this needs to be disproven. And to some people, people think, oh, well, you have to win a championship for it to be disproven. No, you don't. If you guys can play together and produce at a high level and win consistently, that's that's getting the job done to me. Everything isn't going to equal a championship because it's luck involved in that. It's, it's chance. It's a lot of different things that's involved in that. But anyways, um, this is just a little quick video about Donovan Mitchell going to the Utah Jazz. Appreciate you for watching. Red Nation Blogger signing out. As always, please like and subscribe. Thank you.